my biggest human right is to be able to uh, walk out my door and be proud of who I am, but I think that for other people in other countries, it's really just to be able to walk out their door. When I go back to Jamaica, I am worried. Am I going to be attacked right now? Am I, is this my last hour? I was an activist in my own high school and I wouldn't have had the courage to do that. I think if I had grown up in Russia or Uganda, it would have taken much more time and it would have been much more dangerous. Being an ambassador is not just about being LGBTQ or an ally. It's about being a voice of our generation and being able to represent the youth whose voices otherwise would go unheard. I do think that we, HRC, can make a difference in the world. Working with this organization who has shown commitment to hear in what young people believe are their issues. The message that we've set up and the platform that we've formed can truly be a voice for the voiceless and the minorities all over the world that don't have the confidence or really the ability to speak up. If I could say one thing to the LGBTQ uh, around the world, it would be that I really admire the work that you do and the ways that you fight for your own rights. And I want you to know that, um, that HRC is here for you and that we want to help you in the things that you're engaging in. And when you're in the situation where you have to fear for your life and the people that are supposed to love you, like your family or your country's leaders, don't, you are told that it's just going to be okay. But I want the teenagers to know that it's going to be more and that they have potential and promise and purpose. I want to amplify the LGBTQ community as best I can. And in doing so, I want to change the world and make it a safer place so that there are less lives lost. Just because somebody tells you that you're not worth it simply because of the person you love or who you want to be, you're very, very worth it. It's going to be great.